The Orthodox Saurid Archbishopric is an autonomous Eastern Orthodox Archdiocese in the Republic of Macedonia. It is the only canonical Orthodox Church in the Republic of Macedonia and is in full communion with all other Orthodox Churches. The Orthodox Saurid Archbishopric has been refused registration by the Macedonian State Religion Commission on the grounds that one group may be registered for each confession and that the name was not sufficiently distinct from that of the Macedonian Orthodox Church. MOC is recognized by the State Religion Commission but not by any other Orthodox Churches which consider its unilateral 1967 declaration of autocephaly a breach of canon law. The archbishopric claims inheritance from the Aurid archbishopric of Justiniana Prima and all Bulgaria, founded in 1019, by Basil II, autonomy, in attempt to restore its canonical status and gain recognition from the Orthodox churches. The Macedonian Orthodox Church negotiated with the Serbian Orthodox Church, and these negotiations led to an eventual agreement signed in Nice in June 2002, thus known as the Nice Agreement. The agreement was signed by all bishops of both delegations. However, the bishops of the delegations of the Macedonian Orthodox Church were exposed to severe criticism for signing this agreement. And although they attempted to defend it for a short time, the Synod of the MOC rejected the agreement. The Patriarch of Peck then summoned all bishops, clergy, monastics and faithful people to enter in liturgical and canonical unity with the Serbian Orthodox Church. Jorvan Vraniskovsky, Metropolitan of Eels and Povedery, and all priests of Eels agreed to respond to this call, and all signed a document of agreement. On 23 September 2002, METR, Jorvin was appointed exarch of all the territories of the Ured Archdiocese by the Assembly of the Serbian Orthodox Church. On 25 December 2003, he was elected chairman of the Holy Synod of Bishops of the Orthodox Ured Archbishopric, after it had been constituted. On 24 May 2005, he was confirmed by Patriarch of Peck as Archbishop of Ored and Metropolitan of Scorpia in accordance with the Nice Agreement. On the same day, there was an announcement of the Patriarchal and the Assembly's Thomas for Autonomy of the Ored Archbishopric, with Archbishop Jorvin as the Chairman of the Holy Synod of Bishops. Structure. As of 2009, the Macedonian Orthodox Saurid Archbishopric is headed by Archbishop Jorvin Vi of Aurid in Macedonia. He presides over the Holy Synod of Hierarchs of the Orthodox Aurid Archbishopric, consisting of four metropolitans and titular bishops. Dioceses on the territory of Republic of Macedonia, Archdiocese of Scorpia, headed by Archbishop Jorvin Vi of Aurid in Macedonia. Diocese of Prespa and Pelagonia, vacant. Diocese of Bregolnica, headed by Bishop Marco. Diocese of Dibar and Kichevo, vacant. Diocese of Pelog and Kuminovo, headed by Bishop Joachim. Diocese of Eels and Povedery, vacant. Diocese of Strumica, vacant. The Holy Synod of Bishops was constituted on 23 December 2003 in the Monastery of St. John Chrysostom. The current members of the Synod are Archbishop John of Oran and Metropolitan of Scorpia, Locum Tenens of Eels and Povedery, Bishop Joachim of Pelog and Kuminovo, Locum Tenens of Dibar and Kichevo, Bishop Mark of Bregolnica, Locum Tenens of Prespa and Pelagonia, Vicar Bishop David of Stoby, Locum Tenens of Strumica. The Archbishopric uses Old Church Slavonic language. Persecution. Upon entering in the canonical and ecclesiastical unity with the Serbian Orthodox Church, and through that with the whole community of Orthodox churches, Archbishop Jorvan was expelled by the police, without a court order, from his residence and cathedra in Veals on 7 July 2002. In the same manner, illegally and without a court order, the monks of four monasteries were expelled from their monasteries, i.e., homes, in January 2004, immediately after joining the Orthodox Saurid Archbishopric.
A fifth monastery, St. John Chrysostom in the village Nizpol near Betola, was broken into by armed and masked men, who not finding the Archbishop Jorvan they were after, harassed and threatened the nuns with machine guns cut their hair and set the monastery on fire. In February 2004, Orthodox Orad Archbishopric buildings were raided by the police. The church in the St. John Chrysostom Monastery was demolished by the state authorities on 15 October 2004. The Chapel Street, Nectarios of Vagina, after being broken into and vandalized on several occasions, was at the end completely demolished on 12 July 2005. The priest who served at that chapel, Fr. Borhan Vitanov, was beaten up twice. Additional complaints of harassment have been reported. Archbishop Jorvan was sentenced to 18 months of prison in June 2005 for instigation of ethnic, racial and religious hatred, discord and intolerance. The verdict stated the conviction relied on these three points. He wrote a text in a religious calendar in which he slanders the Macedonian Orthodox Church. He agreed to be appointed as an exarch of the Aurid Archbishopric in Macedonia and participated in the ordination of the bishops Joachim and Marco, and he officiated at a religious service in an apartment owned by his parents. He served 220 days in prison before the Supreme Court declared the last two of the three points to be unconstitutional and his sentence was shortened to eight months. Archbishop Jorvan was sentenced for the second time on charges for embezzlement, and as a second defendant was sentenced to a higher prison term of two years than the first defendant in 2006. He served 256 days before being released. The declaratively secular state legalized its identification with a specific religious community Macedonian Orthodox Church. Through the Parliament's Declaration for Support of the Autocephaly of the MOC, reached on 23 January 2004, the Orthodox Saurid Archbishopric is denied registration by the state authorities. Orthodox clergy is not allowed to enter the country. International reactions The United States Department of State constantly includes in its Religious Freedom Report and Human Rights Report. Information regarding the restrictions of the religious freedoms of the members of the Orthodox or a Dutch bishopric, existence of religious prisoners, violation of freedom of movement, police terror and demolition of a monastery, prevention of OSCE from obtaining a copy of the decision upon which the demolition was carried out. Police interrogations of the members of the Orthodox or a Dutch bishopric, etc. The U.S. mission to the OSCE warned a violation of freedom of religion and encouraged the authorities to apply the law fairly, advising the government should avoid involving in religious disputes, reminding that Article 9 of the European Convention on Human Rights and Article 19 of the Macedonian Constitution as well as Macedonia's OSCE commitments and international norms all guarantee his right to freedom of religion. The European Commission pointed out that cases of violations of religious freedom exist and emphasized that the new law should provide more liberal procedure for registering religious communities. Amnesty International declared the Archbishop Jorvan a prisoner of conscience. Freedom House reported that Archbishop Jorvan has been arrested for his ties to the Serbian Orthodox Church. In Freedom House's publications Macedonia received a downward trend arrow due to an increase in the harassment of leaders of various religious groups. The Helsinki Committee for Human Rights constantly reports about the violation of the religious freedoms and human rights of the members of the Orthodox or a Dutch bishopric. The violation of several basic rights was the result of activities of a number of state institutions directed against not only the followers, but also against citizens who approve of him or had compassionate sentiments or attitude towards them. This can be illustrated by the following. Problems upon entry and exit from the state, threats, police detention, lawsuits against citizens who have provided housing for the outcast monks. 
police ban in the exercise of the right to residence, etc. Commission on Security and Cooperation in Europe reported about the imprisonment of Archbishop Jorvan, finding that Macedonian officials, in response to the ecclesiastical dispute concerning the status of the Macedonian Orthodox Church, have overreacted and that the 18-month prison term sentence is excessive and unjustified. Regarding the case of the destruction of the chapel, the report states that the government, at least, must exhibit more restraint and end these harassments, and also pay reparations for the destroyed buildings. The report also covers the religious freedom governing legal framework, finding it ambiguous and further stating that since religious groups are required to register, the lack of a clear mechanism can be problematic. Forum 18 reports that new religion law perpetuates discrimination. Ecumenical Patriarch Bartholomew I of Constantinople sent a letter to the Prime Minister of Macedonia requesting immediate release of Archbishop Jorvan. Patriarch Alexei II of Moscow sent a letter to the President of Macedonia demanding immediate release of the Archbishop Jorvan. Holy Synod of Hierarchs of the Church of Greece expressed a severe protest for an emergent release of Archbishop Jorvan from prison, and for respect of religious freedom in the Republic of Macedonia. The Holy Community of the Mount Athos sent a letter of support to the Archbishop Jorvan signed by all representatives and abbots who are in the common assembly of the twenty holy monasteries of the Holy Mount Athos. The standing conference of the canonical Orthodox bishops in the Americas condemned the imprisonment of Archbishop Jorvan by Macedonia and asked for his release. Metropolitan Herman of the Orthodox Church in America called for release of Archbishop Jorvan of Orod.